This is one of the hardest headset comparison videos I've ever had to do. Now, starting with comfort, of course, right? Coming over here to the Black Sharks, yo, super, super comfortable ear cushions. Very plush, definitely like a memory foamish if you can catch it in camera right there. It doesn't bounce back up, it kind of flows back up, right? Play the line on the inside to lock your sound. Nice sports material on the outside. Same with the headband up here. Nice and plush, same with that sports material. Yo, super stinking cozy right here. As far as adjustability, in and out on the forks. Now you don't have traditional swivel with these guys, but since it's on those forks and they kind of go in and out on one side, you still get that swivel. So it's still gonna wrap around your head perfectly. You're not gonna get any pressure points or anything like that. Coming over here to the Steel Series, I think we're all pretty familiar. These are the Steel Series 7 uh, Pluses, the new ones. We're all pretty familiar with this build and this comfort here. Full swivel, all the way flat. Nice ear cushions here. Again, kind of memory foam, which they bounce up a little bit quicker than the Black Sharks right there, but still nice and plus. Same material, sports material, play the line on the inside. These are a little bit shallow. Again, my ears do touch the drivers in there. They're not getting pinched or anything like that. They don't hurt, but I do feel them resting inside of there. The headband, I stink and love it, guys, because it just rests and floats up here, right? You barely, barely feel it. It just wraps around your head. You adjust it right on the side right there, and that's how you adjust the size on these guys. Coming over here to the Corsair HS80, almost a combo of both of them here, right? Now you do all that full swivel, your ear pads are completely cloth and more or less like a pillow, right? They don't really hold down or anything, but they're super plush, super soft, nice and breathable, and just like a little teddy bear. You just wanna sit here and pet them, right? Again, fully cloth inside and out, plenty deep and plenty big. And again, you have that full swivel as well. Now, as far as adjusting the headband, it's kind of just like the Steel Series, just a little hidden because it goes through the top right there. You don't see the whole elastic. It's right down in here. Your adjustment, if you can see it in the camera, you see those two little notches right inside, you're gonna adjust it in there and that's how you're gonna adjust your size. Now, taking a look at all the headsets here, let's go on and get the weight of the Black Sharks. We are getting 306 grams on the Black Sharks. Now coming over to the Steel Series 7 Plus, we are getting 354 grams, so a little bit heavier right there. Then coming over to the Corsair HS80, 366 grams. So after looking at the comfort and then the weight right there, guys, all of these headsets, hands down, why they're in here and why it's so hard is these headsets are stinking cozy. The Black Sharks, I put them on my head, guys, and it's like, a stinking memory foam pillow. It's lightweight, it's just floating, no pressure points, perfect adjustability. Yo, you can game for a very long time with those. Coming over to the Steel Series, we already know, stinking cozy, I've covered them before, the headband. Me with the ball that it just floats there. I've heard people say, if you got a real big head, these don't work out. I don't know, I'd say I got a normal medium shape head, I'm not too sure, but again, stinking cozy. Again, all these are fantastic for glasses wearers as well. No pinch in my ears, rest on the drivers, it's not, uncomfortable, which is hence for the reason it still gets stinking cozy. Some people question me, hey, your ears does dry, why is it still getting stinking cozy? Well, again, they are stinking cozy. I can game forever with these things on. My ears aren't pressing or getting pinched on the drivers. They're just kind of resting there, right? Coming over to the uh, HS80, guys. Again, it's like a combination of both of these. It's floating there, but it's just like, gosh, guys, I, I can't say it enough. They are so stinking comfortable. All of these stinking cozy, hands down. Let's go on and talk about build here, right? We're talking lightweight, comfortable. Are we still getting that reliability out of these guys? Black Sharks, I wanna stretch them out to right here. I feel a little bit of tension coming out onto my forks. I don't think anybody's really gonna be stretching them this far. Why I do this test in my videos, guys, is because I would rather break my product than you break your product and find out a weak point. So I stretch them out, twist them up and bend them to say, okay, hey, if this snaps, we got a weak point right there. That's why I do this test. Not because I expect you to be going like this, right? Come over here to the Steel Series, bam, right out there. We twist them up. Now again, the Steel Series is on that little hinge right there. My Arctic's Pros I've used for, I think, two Two years as my main, they did loosen up right down here, not up here, but down here. They never broke, never fall apart or anything, but they did loosen up right there. But again, the build, I don't really get worried about. I'm coming over here to the Corsair HS80, guys. Again, incredibly stinking solid. You kind of got that same style as the uh, Steel Series ones. I haven't used these as long as previous Steel Series ones, but as of right now, I mean, they held up 
perfectly fine and they feel again incredibly solid and very premium. Features and functions. As you see, they are all wireless right here. The Razer USB-A, 7 Plus, USB-C, and then a Corsair USB-A. And by the way, your dongle lights up to let you know when you're pairing up on the Corsair one. But taking a look at the Black Shark V2 Pro's features and functions, left ear cup, you have your volume ear here. Nice tactile step in the middle to let you know, bam, you are in the middle. Power button, mic mute, USB charging port, your 3.5 port, and then your microphone port right there. Your microphone is detachable with the included windscreen. Steel Series Arctic 7 Plus. Back right ear cup, you have game to chat volume, your power button. Back left ear cup, you have mic mute. You have your actual volume button up and down. You have your proprietary 3.5 Steel Series port right there, your share port so someone else can plug in a pair of headphones and hear what you're hearing. USB-C charging, and then your retractable microphone. And side note, on the 7 Plus, again, the USB-C dongle is just fantastic because if you got a switch, bam, you can plug it in right there. Again, a lot of devices using USB-C right now, really nice. Now coming over to the Corsair HS80, features and functions, all on the back left ear cup, you have your power button, your volume wheel, and then your mode select right there. Your uh, microphone is flipped down to active and flip up to mute. And again, the USB dongle right here, it lights up to let you know when you're paired up or whatnot. Now, all of these, again, are wireless headsets. And as far as battery life and range, they're pretty much all on par. Over here, you're getting 24 hours, you're getting 30 hours, and then you're getting 20 hours. So yeah, the SteelSeries has the longest battery life, but again, they're wireless headsets. Me, myself, whenever I'm done gaming, I plug them in and charge them up. I'm not gaming for 30 hours straight, you know what I mean? So for features and functions, I'm gonna give the win to SteelSeries. Most importantly, because that USB-C dongle, I love that I can just bam, plug it right into my switch on the bottom. Good to go. Your mobile device, if you got USB-C, you can use it on pretty much any device with USB-C and that is stinking fantastic. Gotta give the win to SteelSeries. But as far as that core sound right here, the Razors are using 50 millimeter Triforce drivers that freeze for range of 12 to 28,000. Coming over here to the SteelSeries Arctic 7 Plus, 40 millimeter drivers, frequency range of 20 to 20,000. If you used any other SteelSeries headset, well, they got the exact same in here, so you know what you have. Corsair HS80, 40 millimeter drivers with a frequency range of 20 to 40,000. So again, as you can see, we've got a wide array of drivers and frequency ranges right here, and they all are quite different. And talking about them all sounding different, I played them across a wide array of games, been playing a lot of Horizon, the new one that's recently come out, right? Trying to dabble again with some cyberpunk, of course, playing tons of Halo, and well, just a pinch of Call of Duty in here because I'm so hooked on Halo, right? But talking about that, I feel like we had a wide array, some that are really focused on highs and a lot more detail, some with a lot of immersion and story and dialogue and stuff, kind of across all of it, right? So let's go on and start with the Black Sharks. How do these guys sound, right? And I've stated this before, the Black Sharks are a warmer headset, right? There's a little bit more bass, it's not thumpy bass, it's fuller bass. Hopefully that makes sense right there. So talking Halo with the Black Sharks, right? So you know the footsteps are really pronounced in Halo, right? These are more like hard boots hitting the ground. You hear that thump, right? It's not necessarily a heel-toe tap, it's a heel-toe thump, right? So you really hear that a grenade goes off and that's pretty much what you're gonna hear. It's quite heavy, but you still get the detail everything, the 50 millimeter dry, Triforce drivers on these guys are absolutely phenomenal. They are great, they really are, but again, you do have more bass. You can get in there and dabble with the EQ and tweak it up a little bit, right? And pull out some more highs, but still you're gonna have a fuller headset with these guys. Definitely more body within this. Coming over here to the Steel Series, absolute opposite of the Black Sharks. You have more highs with this. It's very potent in the highs. You have bass, but it's definitely back here. Again, none of these are thumpy in the bass, okay? Let's just get that out of the way. But you have bass, you still have those grenades hitting and the score streaks going over and stuff like that, but it's definitely geared more towards the highs, which is how my sound's always been preferred with Audi-Easy or Audio-Technica, anything like that. That's why I round out to those, right? And that's why I've always really loved Steel Series. You got that real natural, true sound. It doesn't sound like it's going overboard trying to get anything else. It's not trying to sound like a game. It's not trying to sound like some crazy uh, different effect over here. It sounds like that true sound like you're gonna hear in real life which is what I like. I don't like exaggerated sound. I don't like 7.1. I don't like anything like that. I like a true natural sound. That's what you get with the Steel Series. And again, it's great for competitive. As far as playing Halo, 
this was my favorite. Coming over here playing Horizon with the Arctics, it was great. The dialogue was fantastic, hitting the robots and everything, right? It was awesome. The, the bow going out there, getting the back, that was awesome. But I kind of lost some immersion. I lost that body that I had with the Black Sharks over here. You know what I mean? So again, it was kind of eh. And that's what brings me to the Corsair HS80, guys. This is a combination of both of these, okay? Now, it's not as full as the Black Shark. It's not as high as the Arctis, right? It's right in between. You have such a great sound right here. You got immersion. You got detail, right? It has it right here. You got bass. You got highs. Great for competitive. Great for story. Playing Horizon. This was my favorite. This was my favorite playing a story game because the dialogue was crisp. Right? The environment was potent. The battles were full. Whew. It was good, guys. It was really good. Now, come on over to Halo, okay? And the HS80. Where these guys really, really shine is when you come on to PC. And you dabble with your EQ. Tweak it out what you like. I have my starting point, but you tweak it to what you like. Sweet, hot tamales. These things come to life on PC. Unfortunately, no, your EQ settings do not save to the headset, so whenever you plug it in a console, you kind of lose out on that. But again, me talking about playing them on PS5, playing Horizon on PS5, they still sounded phenomenal. They sounded great. But yes, they sound so much better on PC when you dabble with IQ and ring in your uh, EQ setting right there. So after that, you can really see what I'm talking about now of them all sounding different. Does one sound better than the other? The cool thing about these and why this is such a hard review to do, because sound is subjective, comfort subjective, just like styling, right? You get to pick what are you looking for. More bass, more highs, kind of that in-between just sound that's going to complete all of them right there. This might sound like the winner, right? And if I was on PC, as far as sound, yes, the HS80 would be my win, hands down. But again, are you just playing Fortnite? You just playing competitive? You might want to go with the 7 Plus. Are you just playing story in these games with body and fullness in them, you know what I mean? You might want to go with the Black Sharks. Last test right here, the microphone test. Starting with the Razer Black Shark V2 Pros, that is exactly what you're hearing right now. Again, that microphone is detachable and you do have the little windscreen right there. As I stated in all of my Razer headsets, their microphones I use right now are really directional based, right? So if you pull it away, it's going to get significantly quieter. If you pull it a little closer, it's going to get a lot louder right there, right? So again, it's really cool. You can really adjust if your buddies are saying, yo, man, you're sounding crazy loud. We scooch it away a little bit more and it's going to really kind of get out there right there. But again, this is the microphone. Again, it's detachable, nice and moldable, mute button on the back. This is the microphone on the Razer Black Shark V2 Pros. And now the microphone on the SteelSeries Arctic 7 Plus right here. Again, it is retractable, so you can pull it in or out. And again, it is plenty moldable right there. Your mute button's on the back. The thing I love about these things is you can get that little notification on the front whenever you mute it which I absolutely love because, again, you got that really uh, solid notification, bam, right in front of your face. Hey, my microphone is muted. I really love that. Um, we all know uh, SteelSeries headset, eh, their microphone's kind of a little tinny, a little bit airy, just kind of, uh, it sounds very machine -y, you know what I mean? It's not a very full microphone, but, again, I do love the functionality of, you know, just retract it in there, the notification on light. It definitely gets the job done but it's known not to be the best. And for our last microphone test is the Corsair HS80. That is what you're hearing right now. As I showed you before, the microphones flip up to mute and flip down to active. When it's active, that white light is lit up. And then when you flip, when you flip it up, it turns red and you also get a tone in the headset when it happens. Now, that's kind of, I don't know, you don't got a mute button on it. Again, it's flip up. So who cares if it's red when it's up here on the top of your head? I'm not going to be able to see it. You know what I mean? So I wish there was a mute button that I can still mute it while it's down here like that. You can also disable that light right there as long with, along with the lights on the headset. You can disable those all in the software. I, again, I wish there was a mute function where I can still mute it while it was down. Hence having that notification on the side right there. Now, in my standalone review of the uh, HS80s, this mic was stinking phenomenal. We're going to see if it's still that good in this right here. So as far as the mic test right there, it's, it's kind of a mixed bag, right? You had a warmer sound over here, a higher pitch sound over here, a fantastic sound over here. But for as far as features of the microphone, again, you got detachable over here with an included windscreen. Over here, you got retractable with the notification light on it. And then over here, 
you got flip down and flip up to mute, which is great. But again, you got that light that's almost useless because you can't mute it when it's down. So again, you got pros and cons out of all of them, but hands down, as far as my quality, HS80 takes an easy win right here. Oh my goodness. I'm sure you guys can now kind of group it together why I'm saying this is one of the hardest headset comparisons I've ever done. They are all packing a punch one way or another. And I say one way or another, that's really cool because you get to decipher. Yeah, these are all great, but there's truly a differentiating factor within them that might suit your needs. Whichever one I pick, which I'm gonna tell you here in a second, may not be the same one you pick. Me doing a headset comparison is not for me to decide which one I like the best. I'm trying to help you decide which one's the best. You may not like the same thing as me, right? That's perfectly fine. Which one would I pick? For me playing PC and everything, it's got to be the HS80. But again, that might not be your pick. You want more highs, you play just competitive, 7+. plus. You want more bass, you want more body, fullness sound, you got the Black Shark V2 Pros. Now, price might be another differentiating factor for you, right? MSRP I'm talking right here. HS80, 150. 7 plus, 170. And then the Black Shark V2 Pros, 180. That's MSRP. These two are a little bit older, so you can find them on sale all day long. These just came out, so you're gonna have to wait a little while to find them on sale. So the price might be able to decide that for you right there. Again, you got a lot of differentiated factors right here. I want you to break it down to which one you like. Let me know which one you pick right down in the description down below. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope I helped you out. If it did, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.